hello 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 welcome or welcome back to my channel before we get into this video i just want to say please like subscribe to this channel share these videos if you like my content okay if you like the videos that i put out i would really appreciate you you know subscribing to the channel sharing it and the works okay now for today's video i am going to be talking about skipping at the beginning of the year i decided that, that i wanted to change out my routine a little bit and in order to do that i decided that i will pick a particular cardio exercise that i will do for the month and then for the next month i will change that cardio exercise to something else for the month of march we are skipping yay see i'm not going to give myself too much credit for deciding to do this i was inspired by james james in the podcast he's one of two in the podcast shits and gigs when they were talking about their whoop challenge he mentioned how he skipped you know to improve his training score something along those lines and i thought to myself that's true skipping that is not something i have done in a very long time so i decided to do that especially since i already had a skipping rope You must have heard that skipping is a form of cardio and if you don't like to run or do the elliptical or cycle or any other form of cardio, skipping is a fun alternative. I say fun because skipping is closely related to play. I'm sure you have a memory of you skipping as a kid, especially if you are a female. If not, you've seen many kids on TV or in real life skip as a form of play while it is for play it is also an excellent form of cardio its playful playful nature might deceive you into thinking it's easy but when done well and in a specific way it's more than just fun and games it carries many physical health benefits that is to say that it can be difficult when you skip for cardio training it has more of a moderate pace kind of like what you see me doing it's also a good form of warm-up where your pace is a bit slower and it can also be used as an intense interval training where you jump very fast i didn't do the intense one neither did i do this the slower one I just wanted to use this as a form of cardio so as you can see i am not an expert in jumping rope that means i miss jumps i don't go very fast i don't do a lot of tricks or variations because boy there are so many of them but as with anything practice improves the skill so the more i do this i will get better at it and believe it or not i started doing a few more tricks in this video than i usually do so at the beginning when you start jumping rope it can it can be awkward it requires coordination and for your body to be in unison which is beneficial to you but you can't really achieve it if you were to do another type of cardio like with the treadmill so to have a good jump you need to be rigid at your core you also need to be loose at your hips and soft on your feet so ideally you only need about a quarter of an inch above the ground just so the rope passes through without hitting the sole of your feet another important point is breath control you want to control your breathing so as to center yourself. 
don't overthink the jump let your body flow and be in a rhythm it can take a little time to get into that rhythm but skipping generally doesn't take long to get a hang of Currently, I do a 15 minutes routine where I jump for 30 seconds and rest for 10 seconds. I repeat this until the time is up. Since I'm starting out again after I haven't skipped in a very long time, I felt that this was a good way to start again. It's not too difficult to do, but it's also not easy because sometimes i don't even complete the 30 seconds sometimes i rest for more than 10 seconds and other times i'm right on some reports recommend doing 10 to 20 minutes of jump rope but that can change depending on the person essentially you want to get the heart racing and you want to walk up a sweat as some of the indicators of a good jump rope session While skipping has all the benefits of a cardiovascular activity such as improved heart health, weight loss, improved stamina and strength, toning of the muscles, and a reduction of health risks. Some specific benefits are the increase in concentration and coordination. There are other aerobic activities that your mind can drift away, but you are still performing the activity. With skipping, not so much. If your mind is not in it, you miss your jump. Coordination and concentration improve your mood, mental health, and your form and technique when performing exercises, which is overall good for you. Some of my favorite things about skipping is it's going to help turn up my my shoulders which are one of the favorite parts of my body my forearms and my calves which are the least trained parts of my body so those are some of the things i wanted to say about skipping i am really enjoying it so far for the first week i was very sore my back was aching my my legs my calves were on fire but as with any new training regimen you're going to feel very sore as time goes on your body will get used to it so i am enjoying it and if you found this video helpful please let me know in the comments if you're going to be skipping this month or any other month let me know if you're going to try it out if you're going to incorporate that into your workout routine I really enjoyed making this video i hope you liked it please again don't forget to subscribe if you have not already click that like bu button and come back again for another video thank you so much for being here i appreciate you i will see you in my next one bye